Welcome to Lesson 1, the first in a series where we're literally going to transform you into a poker playing machine. Because we're going to take you through all aspects of bets and blinds and bluffs and everything that goes in to playing Texas Hold'em poker. This means that we're going to take you from the very basics right through to some of the advanced techniques that helped me become the 2005 Victorian poker champion. For those of you that have played a lot of Hold'em, you might find that this is a refresher course, but don't worry, there'll still be plenty left for you to learn. We're also going to talk to some of Australia's top professionals and get their techniques and help. So sit back, relax and enjoy as we take you on the journey of what is Texas Hold'em Poker. Early on when you're just starting out in poker, I guess, just stick to the basics. All the old players, they were just tight and played a predictable style and they just wait for weak players to just give their money away. Now that style just doesn't cut it anymore. There are so many beginner players, but uh, hey, they're not going to be beginners for long and uh, they're going to be tackling us on the, uh, on the tables in the casinos uh, yeah, very quickly. And once we started playing Texas Hold'em, that just took over. We never played seven card again. You've got to learn to let your hand go when you know you beat. For people to actually learn how to play the game, they've got to go out and experience it themselves. Okay? I mean, that's the best advice I can give them. I mean, we can talk, we can teach them, but at the end of the day, you've got to know, you've got to be able to feel it. I'd probably advise people just to seek out some people who are uh, knowledgeable in the game and, and learn as much as they can from them. Uh, I prefer to play with professional players because I can read them better than um, novices. Yeah, just play what the book says, I guess, until you become a lot more comfortable in your, um, and confident in your ability. I think that's part of my mission, is to make sure that the general public understand that people from kindergarten teachers to college professors are playing this game and in getting enjoyment and entertainment out of it. Uh, you don't need to be gambling large amounts of money to enjoy yourself playing poker. The Chinese invented cards and the British and Europeans certainly played many different card games, but it was in the Wild West where poker got its roots. The days of cowboys with their six shooters, drinking whiskey in smoke-filled saloons is definitely over. These days, everyone is playing Texas Hold'em poker, from your 18-year-old computer geek right through to your 70-year-old grandmothers. The great thing about this game is that anyone can play, and as long as you use your brain, and you practice the skills that we're going to teach you, you will improve. At times you have to be brave and courageous, and other times you have to bow your head and admit that you're defeated. In this series, we're going to go through all the skills of Texas Hold'em Poker so that in the end, you can become a long-term winner. Many of us grew up playing draw poker or stud poker. If you played these games, then you probably know some of the basics of poker. For the rest of you, we need to know that poker is a five card game. In Texas Hold'em, we'll end up with seven, but we use our top five to create a poker hand. Any poker game uses five cards. What we need to know is which are the best five cards and the order in which they come. This is commonly referred to as the hand ranking system.